I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time, but just never seemed to be motivated enough to do it. You know, in the news lately, you hear a lot about how the government is looking to ban assault weapons. You know, they call an AR-15 an assault rifle when AR does not a stand does not stand for assault rifle. What it stands for is the company that invented the gun is called Armalite. It's an Armalite rifle. You can Google it, look on Wikipedia. What becomes troubling in my mind is that there is more handgun violence in this country every single day. But yet, the government doesn't care if you own handguns. They're not willing to be truthful enough to tell you they really don't want to ban assault rifles. What they're looking to ban is your ability to defend yourself. The thing you have to understand about an AR style rifle or an AK-47 or for that matter a 30-06 or a 30-30 Winchester, any long barreled rifle gives you the ability to defend yourself from quite a long distance away. A handgun does not. If I have a rifle and I'm at 200 yards away and you have a handgun, unless you have a tripod and the right ammunition and a scope on your handgun and all kinds of stuff, your chances of hitting me are zero. But with a rifle, from 200 yards away, especially if you have a 30 round clip, you've got 30 shots, you know, and I guarantee you out of 30 rounds, I'll hit you 12 or 13 times. And that's what the government is concerned about. If the government shows up on your front porch and you have a handgun, it's going to be the shortest gunfight in history. You cannot defend yourself against military personnel in body armor and all you have is a 9mm or a 380 or a, a you know a 44 Magnum. It doesn't matter what you have. You're gonna get a few rounds off. You're not gonna hurt nobody. But you're gonna end up dead. And that is the real push. That's the reason why, I mean, come on, seriously. In the city of Detroit, 25 people get shot with a handgun today. Unless they use an assault weapon or what the government calls an assault weapon, you won't hear about it on the news. But if somebody uses a rifle, <clears throat> then there's an outcry to get rid of these weapons of destruction. <clears throat> I'm telling you, a day is coming when you are going to regret not having the ability to defend yourself. This government is interested in taking away your ability to defend yourself, period. Joe Biden's right, there is a new world order coming. And that world order is compliance. The first exercise in that movement in that direction was this COVID nonsense. COVID was just an exercise in compliance. If we create this pandemic, can we get the, the, you know, the bulk of the general population to do what we want them to do? 
<coughs> will they do what we ask of them? Will they wear what we ask of them? If we say stay home, will they stay home? Will they rat on their friends who refuse to wear a mask? That was the exercise. The actual deaths, you're never gonna know. How are you gonna know? You're gonna trust the news? The news is in, in you know, they're behind the curtain. They've drank the Kool-Aid. They're ready to hand this world over to this new government. The news doesn't care. You know, they don't have your best interest at heart. All they're interested in is selling advertising time on their station. That's it. They have no other agenda whatsoever. They're in it for the money. So if they tell you, oh my goodness, 20 million people have died in the U.S. from COVID. 20 million people. How are you going to know? You're just going to take them at, at their word? And when did we all start believing that the government has our best interest at heart? I remember when I was a kid, it was fuck you to the government. You know, fuck the government, fuck Richard Nixon, fuck, you know, all of these guys. The government's a bunch of scumbags. Now you think they're out there to take care of you? <clears throat> They've ruined Social Security. They've ruined health care in this country. They bailed out the mortgage companies that stole your money and stole my money. They bailed out Wall Street who stole your money and stole our money. How many of these events have to take place before you realize they're not in it to help you. But you know what? You liberals, you liberals that are screaming for gun control and screaming for being able to change the sex of your children before they're of an age when they can decide for themselves. You're going to be the ones that the monsters are going to come after. And you know what? When the monsters come after you, they're not even going to get in trouble. They're not even going to get in trouble for robbing you and knocking your teeth out, for putting a gun in your face. A handgun. It won't be an assault weapon. It'll be a handgun. But when they put that gun in your face and knock your teeth out and, and do whatever to your friends and family, it's going to be because that's what you wanted. It's exactly what you wanted. I think. That's, that's what I think. I could be wrong.